guys? Welcome to another vlog. Guys, thank you so much, by the way. I just want to start out the vlog by all the support, all the DMs, just all the love, the comments. Like, guys, I truly, truly care about you. I want to see you be successful. I am not just saying that. I really, really mean it. Um, I enjoy sharing my business and my experience with you of two, 10 years of doing this. Um, and, you know, I, I really want to see you guys be successful. So do me a big favor, guys. Take action. Implement what I'm, you know, what I'm sharing with you. Actually do it, all right? I, that, that's all I ask from you. That's all I ask from you. Just go out there and take action and do it, okay? So, common question that I get all the time is, James, should I do double closings or double escrows or assignments, okay? And what's the difference? So, an assignment would be you're actually selling your contract, okay? So, you go out, you have a motivated seller, you put a property under contract to buy, all right? Then, you go out, you find a cash buyer that wants to buy it, okay? So, a typical wholesale transaction. Well, what you're going to do instead of closing on the property and then reselling it uh you are going to do a typically a one page it's an assignment you are assigning your contract to purchase that property from the seller to your buyer for a fee that is what you are doing okay so instead of closing on it you are honestly just selling a piece of paper you're selling your contract to buy that property instead of uh you know closing on it which in that case you're not going to be paying any of the cost or anything closing costs you are just strictly taking the fee all right selling your contract now what is double closing okay so in some states it varies right so some states are title company states some states are uh you know attorney clo closing attorney states and some are both we live in florida we have both here okay so with a double closing you are actually you have a contract with a motivated seller you are closing simultaneously on that property and then closing with your buyer so you got a front end and a front end hud and a back end hud you're buying and selling the property at the same time typically you're going to pay closing costs to the sell you know on the seller side because most wholesalers investors they offer hey we pay off closing costs so what you would be doing nine times out of ten most wholesalers pay the closing costs on the front end and then when they sell on the back end the cash buyer would pay those closing costs so there typically is some costs involved for you to double close uh, a lot of people that when they have huge fees like if you're doing a big big deal uh, you know a lot of people prefer to do a double closing because you can basically structure it in a way where you know your buyer your back end your cash buyer isn't seeing how much you make versus an assignment they're going to know directly how much you make because you and the seller could as well if you're uh, not careful if the title company's not dialed in uh, and, and not saying it's a bad thing for them to even see it. It is completely up to you. I'm not saying try to hide anything or anything like that. This is what I know though. Some cash buyers will get extremely upset when they see you're making a lot of money, even though they shouldn't. That's a whole nother video, right? So if we have a cash buyer that comes to us and they are upset because, oh, we did an assignment, maybe it's a 15, 20, 30, $40,000 assignment. And they see we're making that much money they want to complain about, it. they try to start beating down the price. Guess what? We will either, uh, you know, stand stand our ground hard on that buyer and make them uh, push through a transaction, or we'll just say, look, we'll just go out, get one of our other buyers to buy this that isn't sitting here counting our money and worrying about how much we're making. If the deal worked for you at the number that you agreed to buy it for, what does it matter what we are making? We had to spend marketing dollars, pay, pay employees, staff, you know, all that stuff to generate this deal. What does it matter to you? You are willing to pay this price, okay? So what will happen now is if we go out and you back out, we get another buyer, we will never do business with you again, okay? I just want to make that very, very clear. This is it, all right? We just have no tolerance whatsoever for dealing with buyers like that. I, I, I mean, it's just not a good vibe at all, guys. And the only other thing that could be a downfall for you uh, depending on your state and your title company or attorney uh, what some will allow you to do is for a double closing and a lot of them will make you make the buyer and you sign a release you know a form saying it's okay is they will actually fund your front-end transaction you closing with the seller with the buyers funds 
Okay, so the buyer makes sure they get their funds 24 hours in advance. That's what you should be doing and pushing for. I even put it in our contract with our cash buyers. So you would actually be able to fund the front end transaction and then you would take the difference, okay? So that that's really what you're dealing with in assignment versus double closing. But some title companies, attorney's office, especially when you're new, you don't have any experience, you haven't done a ton of business with them, you haven't built a relationship with them, they don't trust you yet, guess what? They will actually make you, if you wanna do a double closing, bring the money to closing. Now, there's ways to get around that. You can do transactional funding that will actually fund your purchase you know, for your simultaneous, your double closing, but you will have to pay for that, typically a point or two, which is 1%, 2% of whatever the transaction is. So there is cost involved with that along with closing costs. If you don't have a good relationship with a title company, that will allow the buyer's funds to fund your front end transaction. So I hope that's not too confusing for you guys. I was just trying to really, really dive in a little deeper so you could understand it. I get the question all the time. Look, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support, uh, you know, all the comments, likes. Make sure you drop me a like, guys. Smash that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.